First tonight, we are just six days away from Election Day, and right now we have new exclusive poll numbers in the race for governor, and it shows just how tight this race is. Political reporter Rick Alvin is live in Lansing, showing us the results. Rick? For anybody who was looking for a little drama on election night, we may have found it for you. The governor's race has closed to the closest that I have seen in a very long time. Right now, according to our pollsters at Epic MRA, in this exclusive new poll just for us, it shows that Governor Rick Snyder is up 45% to Democratic challenger Mark Showers, 43%. Now, how significant is that? It was just eight days ago when there was... Eight point difference that had Snyder up by eight points. It's closed six points in just those eight days. Put that in perspective for you. If you take a look at the last three polls, including today, the one I referenced from back on the 21st, and then back on the 1st of October, it was Snyder up by six, 45, 39. To find the race this close, you have to go all the way back to August when the numbers were also 45, 43. But that's when Shower was on top. So this race has certainly showed some volatility. But in talking with our pollsters today, some of the important factors. Factors are trend line. Those six points evaporated in just about eight days, and that trend is going for challenger Mark Shower. There are only six days left, as you point out, until the election. And in order for Rick Snyder to try to solidify a win, he's got to do something to change that trend line. Add to that a very active get out the vote campaign on the part of Democrats. Republicans are doing it too, I should point out. But Democrats have been very serious about their get out the vote campaign. And in a race this close, the party that can turn out their voters the best may ultimately end up being the winner. So this is a very significant development just six days before an election, and this is one that brings this race into very, very sharp focus. Brian? All right, Rick, quick history lesson now. The last time an incumbent governor lost an election in our state, John Engler, he was, uh, he upset James Blanchard back in 1990, and the last Republican incumbent to lose was Kim Sigler back in 1948. Rick, I covered that Blanchard campaign back in 1990. I remember the polls in that race. They were all over the place, even the weekend leading into the election. Can we trust the polls this year? I think you have to be... Uh, you have to follow the polls in the same way that we have over the course of a period of time. We've used our pollsters for a very long time. We're very confident in their methodology. The question isn't the polls. The question is the electorate. How volatile is that electorate out there? And just how much can it shift in only a few days? You were talking about that Blanchard race. As you point out, polls still had the incumbent governor up by about four points going into that election. And you the outcome was there. John Engler was governor for the next 12 years. Now, in this particular case, we've got a two-point margin with a 4% margin of error. So it could mean Mark Shower's up by two. It could mean he's down by six. But all in all, we know it's very close, very volatile, and we'll be cut, uh, keeping a close eye on this one, including talking with Democratic challenger Mark Shower first thing tomorrow morning. Live in Lansing, I'm Rick Alvin.